Hi guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to Just One Splash. I'm a little nervous tonight about the wine we're gonna do. Not gonna lie, it is totally out of my element. I've never had it before. I know nothing about it. And quite honestly, it scares me a little bit. So, let's get to it. Dark Horse Cabernet 2019. This is a wine that is very different from what I normally drink. Um, it is readily available in package stores, and I feel like a lot of people have been asking me to review something in the lower price range, and this time of year, I know a lot of people are looking for Christmas gifts, they're looking for um, something to bring somewhere, so we're going to give this a try, see what it's like, and I will give it my honest opinion. A little nervous. Like I said, let's give it a go. Just one splash. Bro. Yep, we're going to go small on this because... Oh, oh boy. Mm. That's got a nose on it. Um, I, I don't even know what this is. I don't know. Oak? Maybe? There, there's not really much of anything going on here. I mean, you smell you smell a little oak, but that, that's about it. Um, it's light. They say it's a bold wine and it's complex. Their motto for this wine is Dark Horse, the unexpected winner. So let's give it a try and see if this is actually a winner or not. Wish me luck. Guys, this is bad. This is like, this is really bad. <clears throat> it burns. You can, you can feel it. All right. It is very tart. Um, you're getting a lot of acid in this wine. There's like this zingy acidity that kind of hits you in the back of your throat and when you swallow it, you feel it. You get that burn when you're drinking this. Um, I could see where they're going with it, saying that there's a lot of spice in this wine, and as far as fruit goes, I'm lost. I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you what fruits are in this. Um, it says that they're on the bottle, let's go off this, it says a bold Cabernet with notes of plum, a hint of oak, and a smooth finish. Cheers. So there's definitely oak, that's all you're getting is oak. Um, plum. No, if, if plums smell like this or taste like this, then I don't ever want to eat a plum again in my life. Um, there's like this weird bit of like nutmeg almost, I, I guess, if I had to put my finger on it. I can't. Okay. It's like pinching your tongue. Like, it, no. Um... This is not for me. I'm sorry. This is just not good. Um, I guess if you just start drinking off wine and you're just getting started, then maybe this is a good transition into the reds. The price point on this is $7.99 for the bottle. Um, you could pair this with maybe some cheese and crackers, a little Ritz cracker and some packaged cheese. Maybe a slice of pepperoni. I don't think it's really gonna matter what you have this with. Um, the one thing I will say is on their website, it was interesting that um, the description said, any element of charring or spice is the number one compliment to this wine. Yeah, that's because it'll cover up the taste of the wine. You want as much other flavors as possible. This is not good. Don't do it. Um, maybe I'll cook with it. 
maybe you can salvage a sangria. I wouldn't buy this. I wouldn't buy it as a gift for someone. I wouldn't bring it to friends, personally. You do, you guys. If you want to buy it, good luck. Overall score, I am giving this a one. A one out of five. A for effort. The bottle's cute. I'll give it that. This is fine. This this is okay. But otherwise, no thanks. We're not having a splash. We're having no more of this. Better luck next time. If you guys try it, if you have any other wines you want me to give a whirl to, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. I'm going to go open a bottle of wine now. Bye.